do this now if you want, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Welcome to the Goodwin Boxing Head to Head for the British Super Middleweight Challenge Belt, which will be on July 16th at York Hall on the Goodwin Boxing Show. It's between these two men we've got with us today, Dalton Miller, John McCallum. So, gentlemen, let's get straight into it then. Um, we'll start with you, John. How confident are you feeling? No, I'm very confident, i ready to be trained hard, ready to play sorry. Yeah? So how have you been preparing? What's, uh, you know, have you been looking up Dalton's old fights or are you concentrating on what makes no. John, no. you know, make you the, yourself the best for the night? I'm just concentrating on being the best John McCallum I can be. Yeah. So I'm what really is it? looking at any fights. Okay, so your last fight out, you uh, you won points victory, yeah. uh, and that was your first one back since the Leon McKenzie fight. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what did you get out of that? Did you you know get back in the ring? Uh, I mean, I've been just back training a few weeks. It was good to shake off a bit of rust, get back in there. <coughs> Mitch Mitchell was a tough guy. Yeah. Um, came to win as well, so he thought a decent fight. Yeah. So, I mean, I was a bit overweight. Was, the fight was at cruiserweight, so. Okay, so you're coming so back down to super middleweight. Yeah. So is that going to make you sharper, lighter, yeah. faster? Well, I'm already halfway there, I'm walking around about 12, 6 anyway, so. Yeah. I'm back training full time, so making okay. super middleweight, that's my natural fighting weight. Alright, and so you're coming down again from Scotland down to your call? Yeah. Um, which is this man's home playground? Yeah. Oh, well, I like fighting in the lines, <coughs> the lines then anyway, to be honest. Yeah, I prefer it. It's always a good atmosphere. It's always playing a good, a good, strong crowd in as well. So, so last time we saw you there was against Leon. Uh, you came out. You were antagonising to the crowd. Like, Aye. is that well, how you you see it again? Come sixteenth uh, July. Boxing's the entertainment business. I don't mind playing the part of my villain. It's got to be a good guy. It's got to be a bad guy. So fuck it. I'll be the bad guy. <laughs> I'm to fight to be the good guy. So, right. I mean, it is what it is. So, I mean, this man, <coughs> Dalton, he's very understated. A lot of the time, you know, he, he does his talking in the ring probably more than out of it. Whereas, uh, you know, from your last head-to-head -head with Leon McKenzie, it, uh, there was a lot of talking out and in the ring. Um, <laughs> so how hard, I mean, that's where a lot of people will know you from, is that fight. So, yeah. uh, I mean, how much did you learn from that? It was your first career loss. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it was a tough fight. So how much did you learn from it? Um, I mean, I had my old amateur coach in the corner, just doing the corner, I mean, uh, now I know that it's important, you need a professional setup. you need to be training in a professional gym, you need to have a professional trainer, like, who's experienced in cuts, things like this do go wrong, I mean, from my earlier fights, there were, I wouldn't disrespect the guys I fought, but they were a bit of a walk in the park, there was never any, like, major cuts, Yeah. there was never nothing like that to experience at the time, so you need someone who's on top of it, things like that in fights, especially yeah. if they fight 10, 12 round fights, title fights at that level. So have you changed team now? I have changed team, I'm now <coughs> training with Stephen Maguire up in Glen Rothers, <coughs> he's an experienced yeah. boxing trainer. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to come on to you now then, Dalton. So it's a bit of a renaissance to <coughs> your career, isn't it? You know, you've, uh, you've had lows, you've had highs. Yeah. Uh, this will be your first belt that you've fought for. Um, how are you feeling about it? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, I've been working hard, training hard. You know, I'm, just, I'm prepared. Okay. I'm just waiting for the day now to get in the ring and beat this guy up. <laughs> so you're confident then? Like, you, you know, if you look into his eyes, you see him fear, you see him... Listen, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the fight. I've seen the fight a thousand times over. Is that the Leon fight with him? No, I'm talking him. Me oh, you've fighting. I've seen the oh, fight. Oh, you visualise it yourself? I've seen, you... I've seen the fight and, as I said, I'm walking away the winner with the belt on the night. So why is that? And why, why do you see yourself beating John? No, I'm too good for him. Too good for him. Simply in simple. every aspect, too strong, too fast, too technical, too skillful. I'm just too skillful for him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too skillful. John. For him. Deluded. <laughs> Absolutely fucking deluded. I mean, as I said, you know, he, he, he does a lot of talking outside the ring. When he comes fight night, I'll be doing the talking, and he's gonna see. I'm sure he's probably seen seen a couple of fights or heard what you want to hear or seen the record and going off that, but. It's so just a record. Let's talk about your record then, because you know, as I said at the beginning, you've had some lows, you've had some highs. Um, you know, you're on the back now of a draw and a win. Um, that Jesse Goodan Tate victory, first round knockout. Um, do you think you displayed something else, or in that fight that people haven't seen before, or was it the level of opponent? Well, maybe maybe it's a combination of two. To to be fair, 
in the past, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't training as as I, I wanted, I wanted to. I had too much going on in in my private life and everything else. But that fight there, I was, I was ready to go. There was more aggression in me. I, I just, I just wanted it. I just wanted it. So I went in there and did what I had to do. So you bring that aggression when you fight, John? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Now I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he, he brings the same because you know I want him to come and fight. So well, you want to stand and have a war? I stand and have a war any day. John? No problem. I'd happily have age. Well, see you on the night. Just make sure, make sure. No, don't forget that you're coming to fight, and I want you to see. I want you to stand yeah, there and I'm fight. Going to sleep away. I've heard that a million times. Uh. Listen, this is this is. You can hear what you want to hear in the past. This is this is real. This shit is real now. It's what's going to happen. So make sure you prepare yourself mentally, physically. Be in the best shape. Don't even sleep too much. Just train all the time. So you're it's training. Funny. You're training it's down funny. at RJ's. Fuck. Yeah. She's <laughs> a comedian. <laughs> so you're training down at RJ's in London, right? You've, uh, how's that been? Because you went there recently. You know, is he instilling new skills, new confidence? Um, I'm learning all the time. Always learning, which which I'm grateful for. Um, before the time, you know, I was going, I going to different gyms, trying to find my place again, if you like. And I believe that I have now. I'm comfortable there. I'm happy. Training's going well. The team is, the team is brilliant. And you know, I've got all to, um, to thank Steve for that because Steve put me in that direction, and now I've got a good camp going. So you both switched camps recently, then, right? Uh, you'll find this place anyway. Come July 16, you'll find this place on the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> never that. Never that. You'll find your place. I will see, man. You see. We will see. That uh, talk is cheap. Talk is uh, cheap, bro. You've been talking plenty so far. So. Well, you know, I've got a mouth. Uh, <laughs> As you know. So you can back out. Hey, right, listen. I'll, I'll come to fight, mate. Always come Sorry. to fight. Good. Always come to fight. So it's good. To, you know, I'm glad you come down from Scotland and that. Mm -hmm. I hope you, you know the journey wasn't too too bad for you. Plane uh, wasn't. You know, it was comfortable. Good job, food. Uh, all that good stuff. Job, but you know. As I said, yeah, I don't need diet for you. I can eat McDonald's yeah? every day and night. <laughs> so I mean, McDonald's. I like 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 looking though possibly do you think that's a risk no. like being realistic about it no i think he's i think he'll come to fight i respect him for taking the fight like i said earlier a couple of other people got offered the fight first yeah and they didn't want to know but dolan jumped it his coach thinks it's an easy fight he thinks it's an easy fight but i hope they still think it's an easy fight on the night so are you too good for him is that what you're no, I saying believe that i'm a, a different class yeah. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad he's got the confidence and the belief to, 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 to think that, but it, this, this is where he's going wrong. He needs to climb down off that cloud that he's in and uh, face reality, because there ain't no joke when you're getting there on the 16th. I'm not joking. That's, that's why you got to take home, take it home, make sure. So you're not overlooking John? <coughs> <laughs> no, no, I've never overlooked nobody. I always, I always, you know, it's boxing. Bo boxing, <coughs> you know, you use your hands, you use your feet, you use your head. So you never, never overlook nobody. Never, never be overconfident. But at the end of the day, I know I'm winning that belt on the 16th. I think he's gaining confidence because of the Leon fight. I'm not gauging because nothing. I've seen other, I've seen other, um, other fights of yours. I'm not gauging. I'm not gauging it off the Leon fight. I've seen other fights of yours, and the people that you fool were, were not even on Leon's level. Well, I'm glad so, you've been doing your homework. I, I will do I'm more. Glad, I'm professional. I'm glad you're taking this. So I'm going to do. I'm doing I don't give any excuses after I beat you. I'm not Simple making no that. excuses, man. If I'm, you want to look at the records, the guys I've boxed are ten. The guys you fought, ten. Ten. You've not boxed anyone. I've boxed. What do you think of those? You've, you've never beat anybody. I've beat. Let's be honest. Well, that may, that, may, that may be. That may be. That may be. That may be the case. Right, you box, John. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you. Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. I'll beat you, mate. Not a chance. Well, why don't we do? Why don't we do a deal now? My purse, your purse. When I take all. When it takes all. Oh, I'll take all your purse. I'll take all your purse. Because you ain't going to be having mine. So Not you chance, know. Darling. We see. We see all night, isn't it? Bring mm. all your fans. Let them pay you all the money. Just leave it with Steve for me. That's what I mean. <laughs> Let me take you on the Steve. You can't sell a ticket in London. That's how good you are. 
You know what it is? I'm a, I'm a loner. I'm a loner. I'm a loner. I'm a loner. I don't really like too much people around me. Don't worry about it to the cell. Come the night of the fight, there'll be people there supporting me. That's embarrassing. Yeah? Who's supporting you? Now you'll see people there supporting people, me on the night. People that I'm robbing up the wrong way right now. Are you can rob them that's, that's sideways. Just, yeah, that's you can rob them up sideways. Them sideways. your friends though. Listen, you don't mind. Your friends. You see, your fans going to become my fans. No chance. Let me put it that way. No yeah? chance. <laughs> put no it that chance. way. No so chance. That, that, that's how it is, man. You're looking like a fairy tale, man. Very tale. Honest, visualizing. So what do you reckon in job? Like, do you take... Um, heart from the losses on Dalton's record? Nah, not at all. Like I understand that he's boxed on the road, and I understand that some of the <coughs> fights would have been closer than what's said on box rack, but it's irrelevant because I'm still going to beat him. So you don't look too much in the fact that you know he's nah. had a, a few years. Nah, of I can see that he's he <coughs> won his first couple of fights against a few journeymen. Then they put him on the road, and he came up short a couple of times. But I mean, he's here. He's gave up his job. He's training hard, and he's taking this seriously. I respect that, but at the same time, you're in my way to get where I need to be. So that's that's a problem. Likewise, man. I, I just see, as, as you said, I, I respect the fact that you, you you've shown some respect there. But as again, you're just in my way. So and at the end of the day, <laughs> if we're both in each other's way, somebody's somebody's got to move, and I ain't moving. I'm a budget. Well, we, we, have, we, have to, we have to discuss that in the night. So what are fans, what are fans going to see then? Are you two promising a toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Well, yeah. Huh? That's what it is at the end of the day. Because he's in my way, and he ain't moving, so I've got moving. Man, he's not moving me. Him and fucking half that yacht goal is not moving me. <laughs> the only thing that's going to happen on that night is my fans are coming in. They're going to be the loudest again, like the last time. They're going to take over the place. I'm going to knock them out. The place is going to erupt. And everyone's just gonna get smashed, and we're gonna go and celebrate. So you be honest to me, the belt means nothing to me. So I mean, if he wants the belt, I will give him the belt after the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so you've already I'm said. Moving on, bigger and better fans. <laughs> Where are you moving on to then? I like, want the Lonsdale belt. If you look, look at the, the British Lonsdale belt, it's the belt that I want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Dolan? Like, I want all the belts. I'm greedy like that. You I want can, everything. You so I'll take one, 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 one. I want a bill up. I want a whole bunch of belts around my waist. That you can overlook past it. I'll donate the belt. It's so good. It means that much to you. Yeah, but you ain't got to die, mate. Because you, you're going to give it to me on the night. After I give it to you, I'm going to get you the belt enough. <laughs> no, we we'll see, man. We we'll see. We will. Uh, you we'll talk a good talk. You know, I'm just hoping everything, everything's going well for you in training and you know, nah, you're doing alright. Nah, it's been and terrible. It's, yeah, it's been fucking nah, terrible. Nah, make sure everything's alright. Injuries all over the place. Fucking. Oh, it's been a nightmare. No, no, stay in the camps, stay in the Mentally fucking all over the place. It's been a nightmare for me. Dalton, tell me, are you going to do a better job on John than Leon did? Oh. Certainly. You reckon? Certainly. Okay. So what are you predicting then? Like, Leon, what, was it five, six, four? Six. I can't remember which round. Six, 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 six I think. Um, so you're predicting you're going to go better than Leon? I'll try and match him. So you're going for six? I'm going for the six. You've already said, John, it's not going past six. No, it's not going past six. So you it's say... Spark in, spark out, simple as that. So you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. You're I can you're see you're by your body language that you're scared. You're scared? <laughs> you're scared. I've never, I've never been scared, scared in my life of nothing. I can smell the fear. Yeah. I can smell it. Go ahead and tell <laughs> me, what's his, what's his body language telling He's just all over the place, man. His eyes are here, he's all over the place. Oh, he's you just like, oh, you've been, oh, you've been, you've been on YouTube, you out, man. Man. I'm gonna knock you. You've been on YouTube trying to watch them psychology videos, mate. It's not good no, for you, no, bro. Mate. That's just gonna fuck up. Don't do YouTube, it. Man. Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. It's not good for you. Honestly, that's not educational. And so, mm -hmm. what job are you just gonna do? Talk though? to me. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Is it psychology? Or <laughs> you, you had a few joints before you. Are you stop. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe. What, maybe. what, what you old then? I told Steve I'm gonna stop that, but you know. So, <laughs> those comments aside, where do you see this fight going? I see him like, knocking Dalton Spark out and putting him into retirement. He says he's visualised it. Have you visualised it? I don't need to visualise it. Are you it's that confident? Four, four Are you that confident conclusion. you can take this man? I'll take him apart. I'll get a much know. better job on you than any of the rest of them done. Yeah. John Ryder, oh. the other boy McCallum. Like I said, one McCallum's beat you. This McCallum's retired. That was an accident. Pure accident. Uh, pure accident. accident. I was just drinking too much. I saw. Took. I took the fight lightly. But you're not gonna have any excuses. No, no, there's no excuses. No, hundred percent. With the John Ryder fight, I broke my hand. As I said, there's nothing I could do about that. But with you, 
Uh, 100%, 100% fit. For me. So, John, 100% fit, mate. Are you, like we saw in the build up to the Leon fight, did that um, affect you? The head to head there, there was a lot of feistiness. There was a lot of like falling out over comments. There was um, almost a punch up in the build up. Did that affect you? And are you going to get affected by this man the same? Not at all. Not at all. Um, I mean, maybe I looked a wee bit too into much the Leon head to head. Um, I got accused of hating everyone with depression, which is not the case. I mean, he played the violin pretty well with the depression. But I mean, this fight just is what it is. We're both on each other's road. And, and somebody's gonna budge. <coughs> and where does it me. go? Where does it go for the loser? But I don't know. I have to phone him after the fight and find out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, he can phone me if he wants, but he'll need to get my number for his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> girlfriend to say. Where does the loser go, John? Where does the winner go? Well, I mean, like I said earlier, like I've got a plan with Steve. Fair enough. And Dolan, like for the Scottish fans travelling down. What kind of reception can they expect from a London crowd? The, 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 the environment is going to be electrifying. There are going to be a lot of shouting, a lot of boos for him because obviously he's travelled from up the road, come down here thinking now oh, he's, the, he's the man and everything. But he and his crowd is going to be going back up the road sad. And I'll beat them all up and just send them back up the river. Beat them all up, <laughs> right? Beat them all up. You're taking all that, right? Yeah, all of you. You're a big man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mate, I'm not going to spark out, eh? So this is the funniest thing in the world, mate. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All you see is your wee dreadlocks. <laughs> my wee dreads. My wee dreads. Oh, my wee man. Aye. Listen, don't give a lemon. This is your call. Don't give a lemon, about. bro. Yeah? Aye. Listen, man, we do this now if you want, man. Let's fucking do this now. Oh, yeah.